My name is Danny Wang from GrassChinese.com. Welcome to Lesson Nine: Shopping. Hi, Leo. What do you want to do today? Uh, do you want to go shopping? I need a new shirt for work. Of course, I'd love to go shopping. I know a big market with loads of clothes shops. Okay, let's go. 你好，你好，你要什么？看看。好的。Let's have a look around this shop, Leo. When the shop assistant asked you what do you want, you replied "kan kan." What does that mean? "Kan" is a verb. It means to look. When you say "kan kan," it means to have a look. That's interesting. So by saying "kan kan," you are telling the shop assistant that you want to have a look around. Yeah, here's the shirt section. Do you see any you like? This is very good. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. The word for shirt in Chinese is 衬衫衬衫 I'll try it on to check if it fits okay. How will I ask? Can I try it on? 我可以试吗 Means can I try it on? 可以 It's a verb. It means may or can. It is used when you are asking for permission. 可以试 means to try. 试 It has the same pronunciation as 试 which means to be. It is common in Chinese as it is in English for more than one word to have the same pronunciation. Both of these words are written with different Chinese characters. When you are speaking, people will know which word you are saying based on the context of the sentence and the conversation. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. So, 我可以试吗 literally means I can try. This is how to ask, "Can I try it on?" Call over the shop assistant and ask her. Just say, 劳驾 It means excuse me. You can use it whenever you need to get someone's attention. 劳驾劳驾什么？我可以是吗？可以。Hmm, this is a bit small. Medium size usually fits me perfectly, but this one is too small for me. That is because the Chinese sizes can be a bit smaller than U.S. or European sizes. You might need to try it in a larger size. 劳驾，这个太小了。这个大。谢谢。Here, Leo, try this on. Okay. What did you say there? I said that this one is too small. 小 it's a word for small. 小太 means too or very. 太太小了 it's how you say too small. I said 劳驾这个太小了劳驾 you know means excuse me, and 这个 you know means this one. So I said excuse me. This one is too small. Then she said, "Jiga da." I know "jiga" means this one. What does "da" mean? "Da" means big. "Da." So she said, "Jiga da," meaning this one is big. Okay. What do you think? This size fits perfectly now. Yeah, that shirt looks good. 你要这个衬衫吗？要。劳驾多少钱？三百。
太贵了。两百。好。Okay, Leo. Do you want to give her two hundred yuan? That's a very good price. 谢谢。谢谢。That was a good deal. Do you want to teach me what you said? 多少钱 is how you ask how much. 多 by itself means many. 少 by itself means few. 多少 means how many. 钱 means money. 钱 So, 多少钱 literally means how many money. This is how to ask how much something costs. Okay, then she answered, "San bai." I know "san" is three. What does "bai" mean? "Bai" means hundred. "Bai." So her starting price was three hundred. Yes. Then I said, 太贵了。贵 means expensive. 贵。I know 太 means too or very. So 太贵了 would mean too expensive. Yes. So then she said 两百。Okay. I know 两 is two, and 百 is hundred. So that's two hundred. Exactly, that's a good price. So I said, 好 which means good. In this case, it means that I agree to the price. Yuan is the word used for the currency in China. Yes, the currency is called RMB. A yuan is the basic unit of the currency. Can you bargain everywhere in China? Yes, in most places, you should never accept the first price. Bargaining is all part of the fun at market stalls and in small shops. However, big shopping centers and department stores just have a list price, and bargaining is not necessary in those places. I'll have to learn to say more Chinese numbers if I want to improve my bargaining skills. Yeah, I will teach you those soon. Log on to graspchinese.com now to try our free exercises to practice and internalize the new words that you just learned. We have many types of fun and challenging multimedia exercises, as well as a glossary for each of our lessons. You can also create your own learning profile to keep track of your progress. Have fun! See you next time.